welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look, due to many of your requests, at the foot hang. There is lots of things that are part of the foot hang, like having mobility, so we will look at that. Having strength, we will look at that. Having exercises, how to can build up your stamina, getting over the pain. So there's a lot of things, small exercises and tips and tricks, which I will give you today. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a thumb up if you like it, leave a comment below. I'm always happy to hear from you. And if you want to have more personal, individual training, go and check out my Patreon. The link is below. There is like online classes going on and you can even have online private. So check it out. Let's go to the move. So the first thing I would like to look at is the position. It's really important where you place your foot because most of us, which is normal, we are kind of fiddling around. Then we are placing the hoop somewhere here on our foot. And when we are placing weight, we are almost in the middle of the foot. And it's very easy for the foot then to open up because you have so much pressure on it. And the further out you are, the harder it gets to hold it, the harder it gets to hold this like, flex position and hold it so what you have to do is that you are placing it higher up so when i place the hoop i place it here and when the when it's sliding down the hoop i get a lot of skin there and i am still almost between the leg and the foot exactly there as so between this just in the in the bend and that's where you want to place yourself because you have a much more stable position and you are sliding less onto the foot, which first of all hurts more, and second of all gets more heavy. So let me show it to you one time. So you are placing your hands so wide, so you have easy to get your feet there, but you don't wanna have it so wide right now, so you feel like it's harder to place it. So just, so make space for your feet. And then if you are hanging there for the placement, you would kick up one foot and then the, at the second one. So look a little bit at the bar, but don't hang like this too much because you want to kind of be under the hoop. Then you put up your foot, flex, flex, and hang down. And for coming up, grab the hoop again and come down. So this is another thing which is really important. Try to not take hundreds and hundreds of tries. What often happens is this, that the people are like placing it and then fixing around and fixing around and fixing around and then anyway not getting in the place so often once place it of course you have to have a mat under you have to work on the positioning but try to find one position and let go because it's really hard to get rid of this kind of bad habits afterwards when you have started to always fiddle around and then do it similar in the beginning you can actually use different tools to help you do it. And I will show that to you now. A thing which helps a lot for learning the foot hang and as well as the heel hang is to use a strop. Either you have two strops on the side, just beside your feet, or you have one strop in the middle. So however you do, you will still place your hands on the hoop. You will still do your positioning. So looking up, picking up one foot, placing the second one, and then you can grab the strap and you can slowly lower yourself down and you can hang there, release the strap, hold it as much as you need and try to hang, come up again and come down. If you use a strap, what I would like you to do is to anyway go all the way back after, even if you have to work, because it's so hard once you have gotten used to just drop yourself to take it back. Again, it's habit. You want to all the time finish the trick end it here when you're up there because that's how you're going to do it afterwards once you start to feel you have been hanging maybe 10 15 seconds with the strop being able to let go a bit you can either have the strop still as a safety or you continue by hanging without the strop in the beginning you might want to hold your legs it kind of helps as well a little bit and then later on you can hang down hang on time or do crunches i will show you all the three of them so again hands on the right position they're up one leg up, place, place, and down. The first one would be that you're holding your legs a little bit. So you are still close. You can always grab, you're still close to the bar. The second one would be that you're starting to hang down. When you hang down, hang on time. And the last one would be that you do crunches. So try to come up to the bar all the way and grab it. It's a really good exercise, trains your core, but as well gives you some security and safety that you always can grab back. 
If all these exercises start to be easy, what you can start to try as a challenge is to do that you have feet, temp, hand, temp, feet, just for clean placement and for getting a kind of rhythm. I will show it to you. I get asked many times, how can I train the leg hang if I'm not so mobile? That's a hard one because it is, has to do with mobility. The more mobile you are, the easier it is, of course, to grab the bar. Like I said, you can work yourself up the legs. That will help a little bit. I will give you right after a floor exercise, which is absolutely the best for gaining mobility. What you can try and what I do with my students, which have a little bit compromised mobility there, is that they are doing it on the top bar. So then you can have your hands a little bit wider. So instead of having to grab here, having nothing on the side, you have actually the hoop here, which means you can lean more back, hold a bit wider, place your feet up here and then hang down. You will have to see that you have the hoop in your back and even you have some safety because you could hold yourself there, come back up, grab maybe there and come back. This is my absolute favorite exercise for mobility of the hamstrings. So you're standing on a chair, toes just on the edge, feet not too wide apart, have a weight, start easy, start soft, start to feel how it works. In long term, the heavier the weight is, of course, the more it pulls you down, but you also have to be strong enough to hold it. So start with something, try it out, you can always load more afterwards. What you do is you have to weight in both hands, and then you start rolling down, head rolls first, Roll down, 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 down with straight legs as far as you come. Let the weight pull you. Then you bend your legs and you straighten again. And bend your legs, kind of stay where you are with your upper body and straighten. And again, bend and straighten. And bend and straighten. And hang there. And then you roll up slowly, slowly with straight legs. This is all the things I think are important to know about hanging in your feet. I really hope you have fun with it. I hope you try it out. I hope it helps you. Uh, tag me with your try of it and see you next week for a new tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.